Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. My name is David and today we're going to build a grow light similar to the one you see here for about $30. Let's get started. Here are the tools that you'll need for this project. You'll need a standard measuring tape or a ruler, a drill, a 1 16th inch drill bit, a PVC cutting tool, needle nose pliers, and a dry erase marker. For the parts, You'll need a 10 foot length of half inch PVC pipe cut into the following lengths. You'll need three 24 inch lengths, four 8 inch lengths. You'll need two half inch T's, two half inch elbows, four end caps. You'll need two rubber bands, you'll need two I hooks, two S hooks. You'll need two 18 inch lengths of chain, four two and three quarter inch lengths of chain, and of course your grow light. I want to take a moment to talk about the grow light that we're going to be using for this project. It's the Aki LED grow light 20 watts. The grow light can be configured as you see it here in the packaging, kind of in a, a square format, or it could be assembled linear which is the way I have it here. The grow light does come with some hardware to suspend the light uh, although we're not going to be using all of the hardware. I just pulled out the clips that we'll use to attach to all four corners to suspend the light. We're going to start by assembling the chain that will suspend our light. We'll take an 18 inch length using our needle nose pliers we'll go ahead and open up the last link at one end of the chain. We'll take one of the two and three quarter inch, slip that on, take another, slip that on, go ahead, close it down. We'll take one of the clasps, attach it, take the other clasp, attach it. So that we end up with something like this. We'll go ahead and repeat the process for the other side. We have our chain assembled. We'll go ahead and connect it to our grow light. You want to be kind of careful when you do this because this grow light, these panels, it's kind of flimsy. So you want to take extra care when you're attaching them. Now we're going to go ahead and set this aside. The next thing we'll do is go ahead and assemble the feet for our grow light. So for that we'll need our four 8 inch PVC, our T's, and our end caps. Pretty straightforward. We'll take our 8 inch lengths, slip it into the T, take the other 8 inch, slip it into the other side of the T, take one of our end caps, Take the other end cap, do the same for the other side. Next we want to go ahead and create our cross beam that the light will hang from. So we'll take two of our 24 inch lengths PVC, we'll take a rubber band and rubber band both ends of the PVC lining up the edges. Just like so. And then with our dry erase marker we're going to go ahead and just simply draw a line from one end 
to the other. Remove our rubber bands. And what we end up with is a straight line so that when we drill our pilot holes for our eye screws, they'll be lined up perfectly. So using our tape measure, we're going to go ahead and measure one and three quarter inches from the end. Do the same for the other end. And that's where we're going to go ahead and drill our holes. Okay, with our pilot holes drilled, we'll go ahead and screw in our eye screws. They should go in very easily. Now when you're screwing these in, you're only going to want to screw them in until the end of the thread on the eye screw. And you want to screw it in so that it's perpendicular to your PVC pipe. Now we're ready to go ahead and assemble our grow light. Go ahead and attach one of the 24 lengths to the feet. Attach the other side. Take one of our 90 degree elbows. Attach it. Same to the other side. We'll go ahead and attach our cross beam. Now what we we'll want to do is we want to take our S hooks, go ahead and slip one on to each of the eye screws, go ahead and get our grow light. Attach it. Make sure that you don't have any kinks in your chain. Now we'll go ahead and plug it in. Give her a go. Alright, looks like it's a go. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what it looks like with the lights out. Not bad. So in comparison, I did shop this online, $54. There are some cheaper ones out there, but I've had this for the last two years. It's really treated me well. I picked up the LED grow panel for $21. The parts, local big box hardware store, $9. $30 compared to $54. Not a bad savings. I do plan on breaking this down. Putting a coat of paint on it, completely optional. I do plan on having this out in the living area of my home, so I think a coat of paint will be a nice touch. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and if you'd like to get notified of future videos, hit the bell. Thanks again. Happy growing.